main centre back today, Mala is putting a big work. Odin Samuels, he's with Dwight Jeremiah. Odin, I know it felt like a loss, but you're still leaving here with a point. I mean, you really put in a th towering performance in defence. And let me just take you back to the point where you you had a challenge on Nathaniel James, the Trinidadian, and you towered over him in that first half. You sort of set the tone for this game. Yes, because I know that as long as I have a good game, the team will have a good game. But unfortunately, we fell asleep in the last moment. But we have to just regroup and come again, stay positive for the next game. It's not the blame game, but what do you think was the cause of that goal in the end? It's more of communication, because I was told in my, my, my right back, to, he's going to use his left, he's going to use his left. But unfortunately, he, he didn't hear me. So it's just one of those days. But you can take heart from the fact that you came to the home of the league leaders and it took 90 plus 8 minutes for them to get a point. Yeah, as you can see, we are building a, a good unit here at Molines. Positive things are happening now, so any team come now, we will we, be able to match up with them man to man or whatever they're coming, we are able to withstand it. Well, that's something you can take from it. Um, so good work from you and all the best. Yeah, thank yeah, you. There you have it. Samuel's really good performance as a defender. He really almost carried out the, the, the tactical uh, plan of his coach. It took you 90 plus 8 minutes to break this team down. It was a real uh, good performance from your opponent tactically, but somehow I just felt that your team wasn't so creative in the final third. They didn't. They went side to side, and you had moments where you had a link up, but not enough. Well, I think we, we were fluent in, in, in attack this afternoon. Um, the combination play, we didn't use the width of the, pe the field. You know, we, the Molens team score against the, the runner play. We find it difficult to find our footing back in, in the game. And as I said, we left it late. Left it late. It was a really good goal. You talk about the Malines goal. What, what would you say when you when you look at it just now? I know you'll analyse it more, but where would you lay the blame in terms of that goal? Well, um, I would have to see it a bit more to really, but uh, I don't think anyone could be at fault at that at that goal. You know, it, it, It's just one of those moments you just have to give credit to, to the opponent and, and the kicker who scored. Finally, I have to ask you, you've been getting results, winning games, not the most fluent of your team today. It could have gone the other way, but for that a goal again from your saviour, if I may call him that way, Makala, is it there a concern for Mount Pleasant that you're not really uh, playing as fluent as you said? Well, yes, I, I would say it's a concern, but again, if you, we're, we're creating chances and just fail to put them away. So we just have to continue work. Well, you're still top of the table, Coach. All, right, all the best. All right, thanks. Yeah. So, Coach Whitmore, it's, it's, it's a sign of champions when you can get something from a game when you, you, you didn't play your best football. Talking about best football, we know from your days with McGrath, you know how to set a team up and you know how to be organised. It almost paid off today. It was almost a tactical masterclass. I mean, we, we, we planned... Uh, we came, we, I, th I thought we delivered, um, we lapsed in the end, but I mean, I'm not feeling good, <laughs> obviously disappointed, because I think we should have gotten all three points. But, but let me say, thumbs up to the guys. I thought they played a discipline, and for most of the game, they were very, very organized, and I, I want to say, you know, big up to them. You have to say big up. I look at your team, you didn't come with the eye press, but you were as fluent as you were against Sumberland in attack. But you were much better defensively because again, on the line, you let up two goals in the second half. That must be pleasing to take away here. Well, well definitely. We, we saw where we went wrong in the Umberland game. Um, we brought in some new players. They would have been a little bit more trusty. So we needed some more time to get them and get some work. And, and we did just that. We included them today and it almost, almost paid off. Funny enough, in the end of the game, I know you're not going to play the blame game, but at the end of the game, I, I heard Harrison and Nelson, they were at it, and Nelson, they were looking to lay the blame at Nelson's feet. But however, he was the player that you were having to communicate with throughout the game of wanting to stay deep, doing his defensive work. It's just ironic that at the end, I mean, it was him Nelson, again. Nelson is a very good player, very, very good player, and very, very experienced as well. But I mean, they're human beings. Human beings will make mistakes. So it, it is for us now to go back get them back up psychologically and look at the next assignment. Well, a lot for you to take from this one at the home of the champions. All the best, coach. Yeah, man. Thanks much. Yeah.